right to be coming to the other palace. Um, Emily is, uh, if you haven't seen the film, Emily is too strange a musical to try and uh, uh, explain in a few words here. I advise just Google it, as my, uh, <laughs> my brother would say. Um, but what I would say is that it's very spirit. Emily is not trying to be um, uh, conventional, I, in the same way that the film wasn't trying to be conventional. It doesn't um, obey the same sort of um, storytelling truths that you might usually apply to a good um, uh, musical. It doesn't have a kind of obvious I want number in the first 15 minutes. Um, uh, its central protagonist is, for a large part of the show, passive, um, as they were in the film. Um, and so right from the off, Amelie is a musical that's trying to define itself um, in its own odd, strange, quirky, melancholic way, much like the, uh, the film did. Uh, what I would say, and I wouldn't say that Amelie is uh, attempting to be, um, you know, um, you know, making any big political statements, but what I would say is that at the moment we live um, in, in quite a complex, um, uh, some would say divided time. And all that we hope to do with Amelie really is invite people to come here at Christmas and enjoy a production that's simply about making simple connections with each other that cross borders. It's about people connecting, very, very simply. Um, which I think is a, is a useful thing for us to remind ourselves uh, uh, at the time to live in at the moment. And the cast are prepared, which some of you have already heard, um, a sort of musical mega mix, uh, much like the end of a panto or the end of Mamma Mia. We've sort of, <laughs> we've sort of smashed together all of, the, um, uh, uh, all of the sort of highlights of the show. Uh, sans any context at all, so it might be very, very confusing, but hopefully it gives you a sense of um, something that's coming to London this Christmas. So, enough from me. I'll introduce you to the cast of Amelie the Musical. 